Hi, and once again, this is Pastor Bill Vigu of Meet of the Word Ministries, and this is number three in a brand new series that I've began, and that is in regards to love, the love of God, the love of your neighbor, the love of your enemy, the new commandment that Jesus gave us. It's not an option here. It is a new commandment that we love one another, and by this, everyone will know that we are his disciples. And so uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit from John chapter 5. Now, again, I think it's important for us to understand something. My wife brought this up that she was listening and participating in a prayer meeting. And the overseer of the prayer meeting suddenly stood up and said, we're magnifying the wrong thing. We're magnifying the wrong thing. The thing that we magnify is the thing that we're going to get. Now, so many people have ma been mag magnifying the medicine, the, the uh, cor coronavirus, the fears, the plagues, the things that are coming on this earth. And very few people are magnifying the most important commandment of all, and that is uh, love, love one another. So Jesus, we've looked at already, Jesus had, um, or, or yeah, Jesus said the Ten Commandments are fulfilled in these two commandments, and that is to love God with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with all of your soul, really with all that is in you, with all of your strength. And then second, love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus was so adamant about this that he even told us to love our neighbors. Now, if we magnify the love of God, the greatest gift of all, the greatest truth of all, the greatest benefit of all, well, all these other problems will resolve or they will just be reduced in our mind. We won't get plagued by the science of all this and the health and wealth and we won't get caught up with fear. Now, uh, that said, I, I want us to go to John chapter 5, and this is uh, during the Feast of Israel, a special Feast of Israel. Jesus had come into Jerusalem, and a great multitude had come. By this time, everybody had heard about him, so they came to listen to his teaching. The Bible says that they came to listen and to be healed. A lot of people today, they want a, a short abbreviation of that. They want to come and get healed, but they don't want to pay attention to his teachings. And uh, they put more faith in, in a movie that they're watching about Jesus as opposed to what the scriptures have to say. Now, Jesus went on to say this, and this is very important. He said, I don't honor myself. Uh, God honors me. The works that I do, God does. Now, then he goes on and says, but I know you. I know you. He knew something. Now, we should know these things. We should have this kind of um, uh, definition or understanding. He said, I know you that you do not have the love of God in your heart. He discerned that. He knew that. He didn't just think it up or, or hear a voice from heaven saying, they don't love you. They don't love God. No, he said, I know you, that you don't have the love of God in your heart. And then he tells us how or why. Because you honor each other as opposed to honoring God. You don't honor God. And that is, and then he talks about Moses. And he said, if you had been uh, truly Moses' disciple, you would have known me. You would have believed on me. You would have believed the scriptures. But I know you don't believe in me. So I come in the Father's name, but there's coming one after me that you will receive. And there he is talking about the Antichrist. And in that, I don't want to say too much. I want to save it for another time. But he, the reason they're going to accept um, the Antichrist as their Messiah is because he's going to have civil authority. He's going to exert that. He's going to set up a one-world government, then a one-world military, and then a, a one-world economic system, and even a one-world religious system. And the Jews and multitudes of people will believe in him in the beginning because he'll be this great, significant leader. But he will not have the love of 
God in his Christ. And it doesn't say the Antichrist is the anti-Jew. A lot of people have misunderstood that, thinking it's only a, a, the wrath of God being poured out on the Jews. No, it's all those that do not believe in him. And so if you really love God with all of your heart, you will seek to honor God. And you will not love the praises of men more than the praise of God. You will want to honor God. No civil authority is equal to that. No military expert is equal to that. All of those things are a side issue and they are going to confound, confuse, and deceive people. Even to the place of many people losing heart and failing in the love of God that has been shed abroad in our heart. So uh, understand you can discern who has love for God. And it's based without question on seeking God's will, not your own will. I could tell you story after story after story, even myself as a young man, a student in the Word. I loved God and I wanted to preach the Word and I knew I had to study the Word. But my ambition became one that wanted to build a bigger church, count the number of the people that are coming. That's not what God wants us to do. That That is a deception. God just simply wants us to love Him by honoring Him. So keep that in mind. All right? You have a wonderful day. God bless.